Hey guys, it's K Jam, and I'm back with another Countdown to Christmas movie review. Today's review is for Everything Christmas that premiered last night at 8 p.m. Eastern on the Hallmark Channel, and it's starring um, Corey Severe and Cindy Busby. I think I got their names right. And actually, hold on, because I think I actually captured some of the other characters' names too. Okay, you guys know I'm bad with names. So I definitely went on to Hallmark's channel's Twitter to get the full cast. So Cindy Busby plays LJ Lori Joe, which I thought that was interesting. Kate Burrell plays Tori. Um, Zach is played by Corey Severe. And Jason is played by Matt Wells, I think. Okay. All right, so that is the cast, okay? So I'm gonna get into the whole premise of the movie and I will say that I'm giving this movie a six out of 10. I'm giving this a six out of 10. All right, guys, I'm back to this review. So everything Christmas premiered last night at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm giving this movie a six out of 10. Now, I love when I see on Hallmark that we um, actually have a movie that really indoctrinates like the Christmas spirit. It really lets us know like what the spirit of Christmas is really all about. And this was one of those movies. So I know what you're wondering. Why am I giving it a 6 out of 10? Something was missing for me. I love Corey. He was in Take Me Back for Christmas. That was the best Christmas to July, Christmas of, to, um, in July 2023 movie. Loved him there. He's really grown on me. He's in the Northern Lights of Christmas with Ashley Williams. Um, he was in Noel Next Door last year that kicked off 2022's Countdown to Christmas. Corey has really grown on me and I'm really starting to love his movies. He brings the same chemistry in this movie that he brings in all his others and I could appreciate it. But something was missing. I'm not a huge Cindy Busby fan. She had a movie this year. Um, it was, I think, for Spring National Parks movie. And it actually was better than I thought it would be. So she is getting better in her acting for me. Um, and this was one of those movies was one, once again, it wasn't her acting. It wasn't his acting. It was something in the writing that was just missing for me why I'm giving it a six out of 10. Now, you know, my scoring, if I give a movie a seven or above, then it's a must watch. Um, you need to include it in your holiday season. This is one of those movies that if you have time and you just want to check it out, then you can do so. But it's a 6 out of 10. It's just okay. I have not talked to Megan to see if she's watched this. She's also not a Cindy Busby fan. But once again, this wasn't really about Cindy. There was something in the writing that was like a disconnect for me. Even though I was super excited to see a movie that actually had a Christmas theme and not a movie that could take place any old time of the year. All right, let me get into the premise of the movie and dear God, I hope I remember all the characters' names. Okay, so LJ, played by Cindy, uh, we see her quit her job. She works for some marketing company. Her boss wants her to work all the way through Christmas. This year, she promised herself that she's gonna head to Yuletide Springs because she promised her Nana, who passed away four years prior to, that she would finally make it to Yuletide Springs, which is a town that celebrates Christmas year round. Okay, I know some of you crazy Christmas people would love to be someplace where they celebrate Christmas every day. But apparently on Christmas Eve, Utah Sp Yuletide Springs has um, an event where you can actually put a Christmas ornament on the Christmas tree. And so this was something that LJ really wanted to do with her grandma, but she was always so busy working that her grandma ends up passing away and she needs to go to Yuletide Springs and bring this ornament that she made herself. Um, and I'm not sure if she made it with her grandma, but she made this ornament herself and she wants to go ahead and put it on the tree for Christmas Eve. So she quits her job. She tells her boss, F you corporate America, because I'm headed to Yuletide Springs and I'm good to go. She convinces her best friend, Tori, who also works for the same marketing company, to fake like she's sick and go on this three day um, trip with her car ride, you know, and to Yuletide Springs. Tori doesn't really want to do it. She's kind of a Scrooge. But then she said, you know what? I want to support my bestie. I'm going to get in the car with her and we're going to drive for three days to Yuletide Springs. This means a lot to her. So Tori fakes sick. 
<laughs> and tells her boss she can't work on that marketing report over the holidays either. Not because she quit, but because she is sick. Sick and in the car with LJ on her way to Yuletide Springs. On the way to Yuletide Springs, something happens to LJ's car and LJ gets stopped on the side of the road uh, in some town called Clover Bend. And at first, uh, a tow truck driver pulls up and it's Zach, played by Corey Severe. Okay. Now, I already told you guys, if you were a mechanic, that this is your season for love. This is another one of those movies that has that theme where literally Hallmark is letting you know. But if you're a mechanic, a tow truck driver, you got a garage. I mean, we saw that in Where Are You Christmas. We saw that in Everything Christmas, the movie I'm reviewing now. And it was another movie um, that, you know, if you were a tow truck driver, you were going to get love. And this is like going to be the thing for you. Oh, Christmas in Design. That movie was also a tow truck driver. Um, a mechanic was finding love. So once again, if you're a mechanic, a tow truck driver, anybody who fixes cars, this is your season for love. If you have not found love yet or not rejuvenated your love, I don't know what you're waiting for because Hallmark done told you that this is your season for love. All right, back to the premise. So now LJ and Tori are stuck on the side of the road. Zach shows up. He says he's got to go take care of something real quick. He'll be back in like 15 minutes. But only he ended up coming back like over 45 minutes later. So who rescues LJ and Tori from the side of the ro road? Chris Kringle, baby. Chris Kringle, or a man playing Santa, has um, the fan belt that LJ needs for her car. And he fixes her car and they decide to stop. He convinces them to stop in Clover Bend. Zach comes back after Santa, a.k.a. Chris Kringle, already fixed LJ's car. LJ and Tori tell Zach, like, Santa fixed the car. He's like, you know what? Come spend the night in Clover Bend. Turns out Zach and LJ have instant chemistry. And so LJ's like, okay, we can stop in Clover Bend for the night. No problem. Because I'm going to check the Zach situation out, even though my car don't need no fixing no more. Because Santa already hooked me up. Anyway... Zach, LJ, and Tori find Chris Kringle, aka Santa, and he gives them each a gift. He gives LJ a um a gift card for a store that's called like Everything Everywhere All Christmas, something like that. He gives uh Tori a stamp, and then he gives Zach, he gave Zach, what did he give Zach? Oh, um, a fortune cookie. So they each got a gift from Santa. On, uh, on the way, all these magical things start happening. And yet, LJ and Tori still have to go to uh, Yuletide Springs and they need to get out of Clover Bend. They start to get out of Clover Bend, but they keep running into Kris Kringle and Zach in almost every town they stop. And also, Tori meets a guy, Jason, after she's mailing a postcard to her niece and feeling sorry that she couldn't spend Christmas with her niece. So it turns out Santa's three gifts, the gift card, the stamp, and the fortune cookie bring all four people together. So what I loved about this is we got to see Tori and LJ's friendship. We also got to see Tori and LJ both meet wonderful guys, Zach and Jason, on their way to Yuletide Springs. Okay, so you guessed it. Somehow Chris Kringle and his magic gets Zach and, L and LJ and Tori and Jason to all end up in Yuletide Springs for Christmas Eve, where we see LJ trying to plant the, um, the Christmas ornament that she made on the tree. Well, the ornament falls and LJ is heartbroken about it. But because of Santa's gift card, boom, bang, boom, she was able to find the same ornament, which is weird because she made this one, but she found the twin ornament in the store and she uses the gift card and she's finally able to fulfill her promise to her Nana and she puts that ornament on the Christmas tree. But not before finding love with, with Zach, not before LJ finds love with Jason. And then here's the thing that I just, why I'm giving this movie a six out of 10. They made Kris Kringle human. Instead of, like, they let us know, like, Chris's real last name, instead of keeping the Christmas magic and making this something magical between everyone, they actually reveal that he's a real person and he's kind of a, uh, like a magician. 
All right, I, I'm gonna have to do a part two.